So, so what this is called is ichthyosis. Ichthyosis means like the scale of a fish, the scales of a fish. So it becomes more like that than like normal skin. And it's a result of long-term chronic swelling. Okay. So with chronic swelling comes skin changes, darkness, thickening, hardening. Hardening of the skin is called induration. But when you start to get these areas of skin like this, mm -hmm. that's called ichthyosis. And it it's not like a callus that I can just shave off. Mm -hmm. It's because the way the, the skin begins to form upward. So if we if we're too aggressive in trying to scrape it, like you said, they, they try to at a nail salon, it starts to bleed. All right, so we can't be too aggressive mm -hmm. in shaving this down. I just can't shave it off like the cows. Oh. Otherwise, this would just, just be all raw by the time I'm done with it. But we do have ways to deal with it over time using particularly urea cream, either 20% or 40% to start to get this to go down. And then more importantly, the, the, the long-term treatment for this is to get the swelling under control. Now, one of the other issues that we have when we see this, that you see all these crevices in here? Right. All these crevices in here, all these little fissures, right. they hold moisture, either from bathing, showering, swimming, going in the ocean, sweat from your, from your work boots. It holds moisture. Mm -hmm. And so that moisture over time, you know, collects bacteria and that contributes to the odor. Okay. So one of the things that's going to help deal with this is uh, topical uh, antibiotic. Okay. And I would recommend a uh, topical antibiotic cream versus an, anti uh, versus an ointment because the cream is going to be able to get in there and be absorbed. Okay. Or I'm gonna just sit on top. Right, right, right. right. But a cream will get in there and start to get absor absorbed and you know, kill the odor causing bacteria in here. Okay. All right. So if I try to take my blade here, carefully, all right, start to work on it a little bit. Start to see a little bit of it flaking off, but again, I'm, I'm not going to go as aggressively as I would a straight up callus. No, no, no. That's the last thing you need to use. No, that's a no-go. No cheese grater. No cheese grater. 86. Yeah, we know exactly what you're talking about. Oh, okay. That should go nowhere near anybody's feet. I don't care what the condition is. I have a, a video series on a patient that Went to a salon, they used a cheese grater on it. So go back to the channel and look through that. Okay. Okay. And you can see her horror story. All right, so some of this is starting to come down. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to be too aggressive, go too deep. Because it will start to, um, to bleed. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Do you feel any pain when he does this? No, at all. At all? Okay. I don't feel any pain. Because it's so thick. See how it's taking the tips off? Mm -hmm, I see it. It's starting to get flatter. Sometimes we'll need to use uh, steroid creams okay. with this. Because you see the the color changes? Right. It's all chronic inflammation right there. Okay. And we have to deal with that once we get the thickening of the skin issue taken care of. See the difference there now as we get toward the, sur the normal skin surface? Yes, I see it. See how it's starting to bleed a little bit now? A little spot there, a little spot mm -hmm. there. That's when you have to stop. All right. Otherwise, you have these little bloody spots all over the place. And then that can cause infection. Yeah, exactly. So how 
don't know how you keep them in there. Two years. years. Yeah, it's getting worse. So whenever you're dealing with an issue like this, you have to be very diligent, very consistent, and very patient because there is absolutely no overnight treatment for this. There's no magic bullet for this. No. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. So. So I'm going back home with this. Well, for the most part, again, if I'm too aggressive, you know, I, I actually cause injury and I don't want to do that. I'm getting it down as much as I can. I got a couple, of, a couple of little bleeding spots, so that tells me where I should stop. But what uh, the other stuff we're going to use, mm -hmm. we'll start to get this down. Okay. Yeah. There's pretty much nothing really you could buy at the store to deal with this. Yeah. Nothing over the counter will deal with this. It's definitely looking better. Mm -hmm. So is it, 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 it is the medicine I'm taking? Well, okay. it's, it's not a side effect of medication per se, but uh, but what you need is something topical. Okay. There's nothing, there's no pill that's gonna help with this. Okay. So it really is just good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's that, there's, uh, again, using things to, on a daily basis, work this down. Okay. All right. So with this area, you could use a pumice stone. Those sponge rocks? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And uh, to get that down. But it's an everyday process. Daily stuff you have to do to gently and, and daily work this down. All right, like if I came in here and just try to take off this piece, like right here. Oh, that one. That, that's 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 not cow. That's actually skin. That's skin. So if I go in here and just try to just take this down, it's that's going to be bleeding. We don't want that because that's just regular. But the skin is just growing irregularly, and all the stuff that I'm scraping out is just on top. Mm -hmm. But right here, that's skin off in here in these crevices. Yeah, I see that. So if I go in there and go after that, it's going to be bleeding. So you don't want that. Definitely got it looking better though. But the real callus part is only on the surface. The rest is how the skin is growing. The, you know, the uh, is there microscopic changes. Like that, well, the, everything, the, what I'm gonna prescribe for you uh -huh. is gonna help deal with this. Deal with the dryness and the thickness. But this is on a microscopic level. This is not just the surface. Okay. Again, it goes back to dealing with the root cause of all of your issues, the swelling and everything else like that. I mean, I could prescribe a hundred different things, but if all those other issues are not kept in control, right. uh, it, it will never heal. Good Ever. Question. Yes. You see how this here is that yeah. the beginning of this? Yeah, that's the okay. this this it's like this and then the, this here there's probably more rubbing in the shoes and his boots. Okay. So there's more friction here, so you get this more uh, uh you get the sticker here, yeah. Okay. Thicker and darker than you would up in here. Right. Yeah. Right. Gotta make sure that you're applying the medication, you're wearing socks, mm -hmm. everything else we talked about. Okay. Diligence and patience, man. Don't give up too early, but you'll see. I mean, I got it down pretty nice right here compared to where you face first came in. No. Yep. Mm -hmm. You still have the same cutter, but you know, mm -hmm. it's not like. Bring that, bring that, bring that around, please. Probably have to plug it in. Over the next time. I want to Yeah, a little pink, a little bit in the spot right there. Yeah. And that's gonna let you know when you need to stop. 
Even with this, yeah. But this just tells you it's not all this pallid skin, it's actually skin mm -hmm. that's blowing on your skin. The skin is not blowing on you. Okay. 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 It goes here, goes all the way down there. Let me get a ruler. Ooh, that's a long crack, actually. Yeah. Mm. This never hurts? No. That's amazing. I've head. had patients with these that just, they cry bloody murder when it gets like this. Let me see. I can't even do it. So that's eight centimeters long. Wow. That's nice. Like, like a little crater. It's from what happens when the skin starts to get thick like this uh -huh. and keeps thickening and thickening and thickening uh -huh. and gets drier and drier and drier. Uh -huh. It gets like the a riverbed that, that dries out. Mm -hmm. it, after a while, after walking on it and mm -hmm. working on it every day, mm -hmm. the skin gives way and it cracks. Mm -hmm. Kind of like the cracks in the sidewalk. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, Can't see yeah. <laughs> So you got smaller ones all over, but this big, this is a long one. I haven't seen one this long in a long time, one continuous like this. Oh, is this an ulcer? No. Uh, yeah, it's an old ulcer. Oh, okay. That healed, what, you said two years ago? Yeah. Okay. So I can get the curette in here. And it's not too much, fortunately, it's not too much to clean out. You haven't seen any bleeding or anything like that in this area, have you? No, sir. Okay. All right, so everything I'm cleaning out here is just the thick skin. I made another tin blade. That one's the oh, one I was using. Is, yeah, it's dull. You got it. All right, so see how this is coming down? So that What's one that? is just caddis. No, it's, it's so the same as the other. I mean, see all this right here? Mm-hmm. It's similar. No, 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 but, but you just, because you went Yeah, down. yeah, I mean, okay. it's callous now, but as I work closer to the normal skin, it's... you'll start to see it look like the other the other side. You know what it reminds me of? What's that? When I take um, the wound care patients, mm -hmm. the adaptic on the yeah, 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 yeah. skin. So you see how this is coming down? Mm -hmm. Oh. The, um, the star is even in. You got similar, but these crevices are smaller. There's not one long continuous like on your other foot. Okay, some, some pretty hard areas here. Oh, you hear that? Yeah. Okay. Same thing, we don't want to be over aggressive because mm -hmm. there's skin really right underneath this. And if I get too aggressive, it will start to bleed.
You know the ten, please. Mm Not seeing any blood yet, that's a good sign. That means keep going. <laughs> that means keep going. Okay. So is there like a particular way to shave it up or down? Mm -hmm. or I'm just going straight across the top. I don't want to go down. I don't want to go into the crevices. Mm -hmm. I don't like going into the crevices with anything sharp. So down. Just right across the top. Remember, he's still got to wear shoes, he's still got to go to work. Mm -hmm. Gotta catch so, that flight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you don't want to, you know, make things worse by being too aggressive. How it's coming off with, I mean, look at all that's building yeah, up I on know. the blade here. Yeah. Wow. And it looks all dead skin now? Exactly. Okay, you won't miss it. No, he's gonna be fine. It builds up so quick, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you should have the cheese grater. You should see what the dead skin that will come off, yeah. man. Mm -hmm. We definitely want to stop using the cheese grater. Mm -hmm. What the cheese grater is doing is essentially what I'm doing today, but less controlled. Mm -hmm. And you haven't used anything to continue the process mm -hmm. like you're going to get from me today. I see, see in here you can't, and some of these fissures are gone. Like right in that spot. Mm -hmm. See how smooth it is now? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I like to play. Oh, it's coming down. Not an easy condition to cure, but it can be cured. Okay. But you have to deal with it on all fronts. It's not just a skin issue. Okay. It's also a circulatory issue. It's a swelling issue. It's a shoes issue. It's a lot it's of factors. A, yeah, it's, a, it's an infection control issue. Mm -hmm. You got to deal with all that. It's an inflammatory issue. You got to deal with that as well. A little spot of bleeding. Mm hmm I mean, that's as deep as I can go. I think that's the cleaning crew. So it's a combination of a lot of stuff. Uh huh. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta deal with it on all fronts. Let me show you. Okay. All right, take it. Take it yeah. <laughs> And that's why I don't go to the nail <laughs> salon. I'm so sick of it. This one actually came out the best. Right. I mean, again, a lot of stuff. I mean, I'll be able to keep up with you okay. in a couple of weeks mm -hmm. through the telemedicine. Okay. Just to make sure everything's moving in the right direction. But we're definitely going to have to do this type of work again. Three years. Within, within, within three, yeah, three, four months. Okay. It's going to want, even though we'll be treating it, you know, you'll be using the creams and stuff at home. It's because it's been doing this for so long, mm -hmm. it's trained itself to do this. Mm -hmm. 
It's true. When they start to build up again like this, is mm-hmm. it build up again like this though? Well, it's, like, like I said, it's gonna it's it's trained to do this. Okay. It's trained itself to do this. Mm-hmm. All right. And when it comes to skin, it's hard to retrain skin to grow normally. So that's why you got to continue to do the the things with the uh, the pumice stone at home. Mm-hmm. All right, like what I'm doing here, but you know, with the pumice stone instead of something sharp to start to to keep working on it, smoothing okay. it down. So next time I see you, it's not as much yeah, work. Yeah, but it's still gonna be work. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's, it's still gonna wanna keep doing its thing. So our our job is to keep dealing with it on a daily basis. It's not one of these things. Well, you try to deal with it every few months. Ah, you got this is got to be as you know routine as brushing your teeth. You can see here now that all the fissures are are gone over there. See that? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, much better. (laughs) That's um, bleeding too. Yeah. So we know we have to need to stop at that level. see the force with the trees sometimes. Yeah, it is. I'm gonna lie to you, man. I, 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 I know you did a lot of work. I just don't see it. I don't see it visually. Yeah, well, you see the after. I mean, we're done looking at my feet, I was like, wow, this guy is a, <laughs> is, is, is a god, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right, let me get that uh, one of those samples, the two of those samples. Here. All right, so you're gonna go home with this. This is where I'm prescribing. And that is again? This is this is called Alcortin. A, it's an antifungal gel. Okay. And why I like it is because I can use it between the toes. That I can. You, this you can use between the toes. Nothing else. Alright. It's green, so don't uh, be dismayed that it, between the toes is going to be green for a while. Okay? Now, is that regular shea butter up? This is my mix, man. Oh, I'm sorry. This, this, this is my mix. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> nah, nah. This is that, that the regular shea butter. Nah, it's not the regular. I mean, okay. This is natural shea butter. Okay. But we got essential we, oils in here: jojoba oil, lavender oil, coconut oil. It's a good remix. Moisturization. The remix. Okay. Okay. I like that. I should put that on the list. <laughs> shea butter remix. The remix. And so it's going to help with the moisturization. It's going to help with the uh, just the yeah, lab. Mm-hmm. The sink is stopped up again. Again? Yeah, I caught it up. You don't need to do anything. You need to tell me. So Nigel, yeah, yeah, I, I caught him. Okay. I took care of it for today. For today, thank you, Doc. It's another dog. Oh yeah, yeah. someone coming here. Yeah. He's a patient. Yeah. yeah, he's a home internist, mm-hmm. primary doctor. Yeah. So this is, this is right. good for the the information that you have going on. Okay. You're gonna put this on every evening. Okay. Okay. Sleep this, sleep this out. Let me get a little more here. Mm-hmm. Not that so much. I'm gonna need two containers of that. Yeah, I got you. I think there's only two left. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take it to Greyhound, boy. It's the only one I've been smoking today. Definitely mm-hmm. better. Much better. Clean white ones, boy. All right, I'm, 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 uh, I'm happy where we are today. 
Okay. Then we got a, a, a good head start from everything we talked about. Yes, sir. All right, to keep everything going, keep yes, everything sir. moving. Okay. We want to uh, keep tabs on you with the uh, telemedicine. Gotcha. Make sure everything's moving in the right direction. Okay. If, if you have a concern about anything, just hit me back. Okay. And we'll see you back up here in D.C. in about three or four months. Okay. And, you know, you set it up to where it's good for your calendar. Yes, sir. All right, we'll see you back here, man. All right, that's time. Appreciate you, appreciate you coming up the road, you, man. man. It's a long appreciate ride. Appreciate you, man. And next time, you know, bring some of that Florida sunshine with you, man. Yeah, oh, that's that's right, man. It's not I try, man. All right? That's one. That's one.